Hello! So I go away for a nice weekend, and when I come back, the Phantom Initiate password has been cracked. So we can now unlock the Phantom Initiate assignment. It's not actually a password, it's a pass number. So to get access to the Phantom Initiate assignment, you need to go to the leaderboards page and click on the little skull in the bottom left hand corner. That will bring up this console and you'll have to wait for the text to screen through. Now some of this text is interesting because it was involved in the actual cracking of the passcode. If we zoom in we can see it better and it's this line here where it says Chi and you've got Floor and Max. But we'll go through that later. This bit will just enter the code, see what happens. And the number you need to enter is 243-4424-1893. How they got to this number, I'll go through in the rest of the video. But for now, we'll just stick it in, press enter, and as you can see, it says access granted. It also says that you can enter the passcode for the next section, but at the moment it just accepts anything and says access granted, but it doesn't do anything. So there's no point playing around with that yet, it doesn't work. I imagine the next part of the Phantom project will come along with the final stand DLC. But if we go back, we can now go to the assignments tab, have a look at the assignment, and it will now show you what you need to do to unlock it. So there we have it. You need 200 kills with LMGs, you need 50 kills with explosives, and you need to get 25 road kills. If you do that, you will unlock a new camo for each of the three sides. And it doesn't mention it on the assignment, but of course you do have to have unlocked the Phantom Prospect and the Phantom Trainee before you can unlock the Phantom Initiate. If you haven't unlocked both of those, it won't accept the passcode for the Phantom Initiate assignment, so make sure you've completed those. So let's have a look at how it was cracked. Now we have the clues from the maps. So first of all, we have the I Ching trigram symbols, which appeared on various locations in the maps. And we also had the pictogram pairs. And these turned out also to be I Ching symbols. This time they were hexagram symbols in pairs. The odd one out was the Fibonacci spiral symbol, which was on Sunken Dragon. And that leads us to the Fibonacci number sequence. All of those play different parts in solving the puzzle and getting us to this number. This time it was a mathematical puzzle and it's taken me about a day to read through all the notes and try and work out exactly how the maths works. But I think I've got a basic understanding of it now. So the person we need to thank for this goes by the name of Smoonort. And they posted up the passcode and how the solution was worked out. And that's what I'm going to use in this video. I'm going to use his explanation of the solution with some diagrams and explaining some of the things that he actually did. So the key to the solution are these eight pairs of pictograms. They were hidden away on all four of the Dragon's Teeth maps and they go into an I Ching divination table. So I Ching is a fortune telling system where pairs of symbols give you a number result between 1 and 64. And if you put those symbols into the table, you get this result. So in the order that I found them in, it's 2, 21, 5, 1, 3, 8, 1 and 13. And that ties in perfectly with the clue of the Fibonacci spiral, or golden spiral, because the Fibonacci sequence starts 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. Now a lot of people thought you had to put the symbols in that order to make sense. But there's a problem there. You have two ones. So it doesn't give you a definitive order. And it turns out that that wasn't the order that the symbols needed to go in. It was just a big clue to the fact that those were the symbols you needed. As you can see, if you do order the symbols, the compass and horse, which is here at position two, could be at position one. We did have some clues though. We had the trigrams, which appeared on walls and boxes around the maps. 
and we had a DICE employee called JJJU who kept dropping hints in his profile picture. And JJJU is a DICE developer at DICE Los Angeles who worked on the Dragon's Teeth expansion. And his first batch of clues were really pointing us towards where we should be looking. We had a famous mathematician. We had the map symbol crossed out and the brain symbol ticked. And we had letters crossed out and numbers ticked. So we knew it wasn't something in the maps. We knew it was a mathematics problem with the information we already had and that the answer we were looking for was a number. And he also put up a barcode. And between the barcode and the trigrams, people soon realized that what you needed to do was convert those pictograms into trigram pairs. And these are the pairs that we got. So you essentially get double trigrams. Instead of having three lines, you get six. But these symbols aren't numbers, and you can't use them in a math equation. But on the Wikipedia entry for I Ching, and these symbols, you can see there's Unicode values for each one. So what Unicode does is give any symbol you might see on a keyboard or need to be printed out in a font, anything like that, it gives each of these symbols a unique number. So in this table, it's in hexadecimal. So the top left symbol would be 4DC0. And if you convert that into decimal, you get 19904. And we can do the same for all the other pairs. And we get a range of values between 19904 and 19924. Now, so far, although this is a bit fiddly, there's no maths involved. I understand all of this bit. Now we come to the math section and it gets a bit more tricky. So even though we know it's a math problem, we have no idea what maths to do. But JJJU's next two profile pictures gave a very big clue. And you do need to be a mathematician to understand these and work them out. So this formula is for a polynomial equation and we know that because that second symbol is a large sigma and essentially what it means is that you have a small equation but instead of having one set of values for that equation you can give it a range of values and a sigma symbol means do this equation for every number in this range and then add them all together but this equation has parts missing and that's the challenge. Go out and find the missing parts. We're missing the factor and we're missing the range of values that we need to work with. The next day, JJU's profile picture changed to this graph. And this is where the maths escapes me. So polynomials I understand from school, but this graph describes a function. And from this, Moonot discovered that the values that we were looking for were somewhere between 19,000 and 20,000. And that's exactly where those Unicode values for the I Ching symbols fell. He was also able to work out that the formula should start with x to the power of zero. Don't know how, I've read the explanation lots of times. I've tried working it out, but I am no mathematician. If you are a mathematician, I will put a description to Smoonort's workings in the description. But if you don't know maths, don't even bother looking at it. The rest of what we need for the formula comes actually from the password entry screen. Someone noted that one section had an awful lot of mathematical function names in it. Now these aren't pure math functions, these are usually coding functions. So the first one we have is Chi, and that's the 22nd letter of the Greek alphabet, which is often represented by an X. Now in a couple of cryptic comments from Dice Debs in game, they'd hinted that X marked the spot. And when somebody pointed out there was an X on one of the maps, the developer Tiggy said, no, not that one, the Greek one and that got this 7.2515 number into our equation. Now in coding, dig11 specifies that a variable is going to have 11 digits. So we're looking for a passcode with 11 digits. 
max is a function which if you give it a bunch of numbers it will return the highest of those numbers back to you and if you keep feeding that bunch of numbers in eventually what you get is a list sorted from highest to lowest and floor which is a function which essentially strips decimal points off numbers so you give it 3.4 it returns 3 if you give it 3.8 it gives you 3 as well it doesn't do any rounding up and when all of that is combined we get this mathematical function the function itself we got from JJU's profile picture the factors we're using in the equation are the Unicode values of the pictograms from the Dragon's Teeth maps and they've been ordered highest to lowest because of the max function. The range of values we're using between 0 and 7 come from JJJU's graph that was in his profile picture and the value we're putting into the function that will become X is Chi from the password entry screen because the Greek letter Chi is represented by an X. And finally we're going to strip the decimals from the result because of the floor function. So that is how the pass number for the phantom initiate was worked out. But there was one little parting shot from JJJU and that said now try hex. And if you convert this number into hexadecimal you get 5AB07A6E5. For the younger generation this will come from text messages and from making quirky names in Battlefield but from people of my age it will be from trying to spell words on calculators. But it doesn't take much imagination to see that it says sabotages. So whoever created this passcode started at sabotages and worked backwards. And the reason we know it's intentional for sure is that 5AB07A6E5 also works as the passcode for the Phantom Initiate assignment. So that's it, that's the Phantom Initiate and how it was solved. It took a lot of work from a lot of people, but eventually it was Smoonaut that came up with a solution. Hope this video makes it a little clearer how it was done, but it's still quite confusing if you're not up on your maths. Now you just need those 200 LMG kills, 50 explosive kills and 25 road kills to unlock it. Thanks for watching.